Hi, welcome to Rhonda Said. I'm Rhonda. I love saying things. And today I've got a brand new palette. A brand new palette for my channel. What could it be? It's the sold out Raw Beauty Chrissy of Forest at Foresight. It's a little weird to say, but it's okay. At Foresight, and it is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I'm going to do some swatches and then I'm going to do a look and then we're going to have cuddles and kisses and frogs and unicorns <laughs> and rainbow farts. I don't know. I'm stealing some of that from my good friends Jeannie and Joe, just Joe. Let's do some swatches. Let's do some, let's get down to it. Let's do it, do it, do it, do it. All right. So these feel very velvety. Very nice here in the carton. And these are the first four and they swatch very nicely. And I, I think all these colors are kind of up my alley this time of year. cats are up to mischief in another room. Look at that. Look at that burgundy. Fantastic. Fan fucking tastic, man. It's the bomb diggity. It's the bee's knees. It's the cat's pajamas. It's the wolfie's purr. What's up, wolfie? And there it is, a very pigmented, beautiful ColourPop palette. This palette was $20, and I'm sure they'll bring it back. I'm sure they'll bring it back in stock because it sold out super fast. Super crazy fast, fast, fast. Monster trucks in the mud, fast. My hair is fading out really weird. It's very mousy gray right now. It started out so pretty and blue, lavender, gray, and I've got an appointment in the near future to get it fixed. But Rhonda, why did you dye your hair in the first place? Because I was losing my mind, because I was bored. And I'm going to start in the crease with old growth here. It's very pigmented. I'm going in real light with it because it's a little bit darker than I would prefer to have as my crease color and I do have everything uh, set with concealer and powder and I did my brows with the cremated palette because believe it or not it's hard to find a gray brow pencil so what do people who have gray hair all the time do for brow pencils? I mean, do they go brown? Do they go black? Do they use powder like an eyeshadow like I did? I'm very curious. If you've got gray hair, please tell me what you do for your brows because it's very, very curious. There's so many amazing colors in here and it's kind of a darker color story, which I don't mind. Um, I'm trying to figure out I think I'm going to go in with Evergreen, this shimmer with a fluffy brush. And go on the outside corner. And it is a beautiful, beautiful green. And you guys know I love me a green, but it's very light. And it needs to be built up. which there is no problem doing that. I never know exactly where I'm gonna go with an eye look. Let me get my tissue. I went up a little higher than I like, but it's very subtle, it's very soft. Maybe I should have saved that for my lid. I don't know, but 
it's just barely there. But it's fine because it's not supposed to be the end all be all of all the colors here. I'm gonna go, I can't help it. I'm just gonna go for the greens. I'm gonna go in with real head. And I think that's the kind of mushroom. A lot of these are named after mushrooms. Oh, it's too fluffy. This one's just right. So I'm just gonna go in here. Very pigmented. This is one of my fancy Scott Barnes brushes. Oh yeah, that's much better. And I've heard that people are having trouble with this color, but it's showing up just fine for me. It's super pretty, very, maybe not as dark as it looks in the pan. I'd say that. It goes on a lot lighter than I expected. I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of wine. This burgundy, burgundy is a wine. I'm gonna go in with that a little bit to darken it up. Super pigmented. Wow, that's amazing. That is pigmented as fuck. It's a fuck stick. Where, where are the words coming out of my mouth? I have no idea. Let's get a blending brush. Oh, these are, that kind of just blended away into nothing. That color was Amanita. Just added some more to the right side. It's a nice dark look. I need to get a lighter shadow under my brow. Why do I wait till the last minute to do that? I'm going to use my Natasha Denona peak palette because it's just so close by. I'm just going to use the lightest color in that. Which works great with this. And it does not break my heart that I have to reach for another palette to use this, but I'm the, I'm not loving this look. But it might change in a minute. Cause I do all kinds of stuff all the time. I'm going to try to take a little off the edges here. And do the same on this side. This is just a really muddy, not great look. This is not fantastic. People are gonna come for me because this look is not great. I'm not loving this palette. Blending away, the colors don't really show up sometimes. Ooh, I know I, I, I watch Porcelain and she didn't love this palette. She had problems with some of it. 
and people came for her, but nobody really comes for me because I'm just, I'm just a little old micro YouTuber. And I'm using West Coast Gold to let it brighten everything up with my finger. That makes it look better. The gold is really pretty. It's an okay look. It's not it's not great. It's not terrible. Let's do the liner and mascara and see if that does anything. The Stila liner. Hold my hand and I'll kiss you tomorrow. I'll miss you. Remember, I'll always be true. And then while I'm away, I'll ride home every day and I'll send all my loving to you. All my loving I will send to you. All my loving, darling, I'll be true. I'm enthusiastic, not a great singer. But uh, this this is starting to help. This is helping. And the liner's helping. Let's do some mascara. Let's do some Marc Jacobs mascara. I really like this mascara. It's good. Still need to blend it out a little more. This eyeshadow. I'm really disappointed that this look didn't turn out. I mean, it's okay. But it was disapp it's disappointing. I mean, it's a pretty look. It's a fine look, but I really expected a little bit more from ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie. My eyes are totally not the same, but it's what I can do. It's what I can do. All right, this is my non-enthusiastic review of First Try with at Forest Sight. It is an okay palette, not the best by any means, not the worst by any means, but it is here from Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop. And I'm kind of bummed that I bought it now. See you later.